Well, morning folks, lovely day. What day is it? Friday morning. Right, I'm gonna start doing my saw pose in buckets. I've got three ready there. Um, I had a comment left back to me from Digwell Green Fingers. I'm going to do what he suggested. These I'm just gonna use spuds galore or potato fertilizer. No blood, fish and bone whatsoever. So, I'm going to say they're ready, not, I've just got to go and get the fertiliser, put them in, and job done. Right, catch you in a bit. Right then, folks, that's them three pots. Add in the potato fertiliser, two good handfuls, two potatoes in each. Uh, there's them. I've got just arrived another 10 buckets. I've got 10 more on the way from Oakland. Thank you, Oakland Gardens and Tony O'Neill. Super duper. Three quid a piece, dirt cheap. So, what I'll be doing now, oh, there's the rest of them. So, there's 15 all in all. So, I'll put two in six and three in one. So, and then I've took all this down. That's about three year old compost. So that, I'll fill that up and they can go straight into the pots and job done. And then I'll put them in the greenhouse until hopefully the frosts stop. Right, catch you in a bit. Well, folks, right, I've done six up to now. That's the last one. That one's got three in, look. So, I'll do them. Once I've done them, I will be putting them. Take you up here, nice and steady. There's me shorts looking a bit, a bit sickly. Let's uh, see what happens. There's the onions out well some I've got six more to pull out so well sorry about that folks I had a phone call in the middle but anyway to say I need six more onions to pull out and then I'll be able to get another couple of rows of my normal eating onions in there. What I'm going to have to do, I didn't want to. You know, that's next door's plot, a right mess. I can get one row of onions, I believe, down that edge with the garlic. I'll see how, I don't want to, but we'll see. Anyway, as I was saying, so we'll go down here. This is like, this is next door's plot, and it is just a right tip. It doesn't do anything on it. And there's people crying out for plots, but council's a waste of time at times. Right, that's where I had my last fire. So what I'm going to do here, just hoe it, rake up the weeds, and then rake that ash everywhere. And that's where my spuds will go. I'm not going to dig it, not burying the pot and nothing. Just go straight on top there. Right, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Right then, folks, I'm in my greenhouse. Here's my early potatoes, I believe they're Aaron Pilot. They're doing quite nice. Looking nice and strong. So, don't pull them out yet with all these frosts. I'm supposed to have another frost tonight. Now, I've got something to show you here. Right, let's turn you around. But right, when I was emptying my compost there, here, as you can see, jiffy bag that's been three years and still not decomposed now people scream and shout and go on about these 
I think they're an absolute waste of time. Because that, it will, that ain't going to compost in 100 years. But everybody seems to say they're biodegradable. This is a chilli plant. That will be composted down before the actual bag. Oh, it's still as tough as anything after three years. Oh well, there you go. Oh, there's just one or two onions I've got left. I'm going to put three of those big ones in. The other two, I'll give them away. They're not, not as big as the others. Give somebody a chance. They might even get one bigger than me. So, right, we'll just not here. And we'll go into the other greenhouse. Right, greenhouse number two. Right, so there's my pots of Sarpo Merot. I'll just put in another top topping of um, fertiliser on there. And they have actually given them seven there, so I think I've probably given them a litre of water, one watering can between them, because the compost was as dry as old bone. You do want it a bit moist, but not wet. So right, I'll do as here for now. I need to label them up. And that one is the one with three potatoes in. You must always mark and label. Right, that's... Right then, folks, that's that. Hoed all the weeds raked up into that corner of it. And that ash just raked out roughly. So that is now perfect for putting my potato pots. So none of the bottoms have been drilled. I don't see the point in drilling them to lose the water to put straw on the top to retain the moisture. Just don't work for me, but there must be a logic in it somewhere. So there we go. That's that. Right, go and do a bit more. Right then, folks. Right, we'll try again. Right, the dear lady wife called me. Coffee was ready. Right, didn't get a chance to sort of finish off down the allotment yesterday. Keith arrived next door. And he's got more rabbit than Sainsbury's. Talk for England, but hey, that's life. Right, so there's the courgettes I've just potted up. There's one of these buster seeds. As you can see, fair germination on the seeds. Which I'm quite happy with. Now I'll see if I can do this. They actually come out, once the compost is nice and firm and wet, as you can see, they're coming out quite nicely. Look nice there, so I'll just see how we go. Right, now, I got in contact with these people, Seed Buster, Buster Seed, whatever, a chap called Niall. I will, if I remember, because oh, I'm up to my ears and stuff, but that's life. I will, if I remember, try and show you a copy of the email he sent me regarding future plans on these. So, now just bear with me two minutes and I'll show you my cucumbers. And you might be surprised, I am. Right, cucumbers. And as you can see, whoops, there we are. Flowers and a little cucumber. Whoops, there you go. In fact, two little cucumbers. Take that one out. Oh, there's quite a few. I'll tell you what, I'm making a right mess of this. Sorry, folks. How many have we got? One, two. There's four, five, five cucumbers on that one already. 
So, right, so I'll water these. I think that's it now for today because I'll download it and get things moving. Right, before I go, just give a quick shout out to a chappy whose channel is Carpenter's Self Sufficiency. Channel's not actually what it sounds, it's not all about woodwork. So take a look at him. Give him a thumbs up and subscribe if you like it. He did it for me, so fair's fair. And uh, he's trying to get, I think he's back got about the same amount of subscribers as me. So 